Hi there, let's see how we can create a dynamic monthly calendar. Let's take a look. Here we will have our weekly calendar. It is a year and we would like to add it dynamic. So to do it, we would like to add here the drop down menu with all months. We add a new sheet, name it is data and put here all our months. Start with January, obviously. Select January and scroll down till December. Go back to the sheet one, select the related sheet, go to data tab, data tool, select data validation, list, source, go to data sheet, select all our months and click on OK. And now here we have our January. So here we do not need it. We remove, put enter and click on January. And it will be fixed. Select all our week, right click, four month cell, horizontal, center across selection. And here we have our months. We can put it bigger. And now we will start. We will start with the function sequency. The number of rows is number of the weeks we will have in one month. And we will have from four till six. So we will put six. The second one is columns. How much days we have in a week. We will use seven days. And then start. we will start with the first day of the week. And the step. The step is one because we will go from day to day and that's all. Here we have our week. The next one, what we would like is to find the position of the months. We will put here January. Here we will have our months. The next one, we will start with number of the months the January correspond. We need to use the match function. The look up value will be this one, but we will put this because this one we will, will be fixed and all data we will have here for calculation, we will remove them later. So we will lock it and then we will go to look up array. It is in data sheet, all our months select and lock it. And then we will say that we need exact match. So zero and click OK. So January correspond to one. Let's change and put February. It will be two. And here we have February. Everything works. Let me go back to January. And then we would like to find the first day of the month. So we will put here first day okay, of the month. And to do it, we need the function date. Year will be this one and it will be fixed. And the months, we need this one, but it is text format. So we will choose the number. The day will be one because we are looking for the first day of the month. And here is the first of January. And if we'll change to another month, we have here the June number six and the 1st of June, right? Everything works. Let me go back to January. And now we would like the weekday of the first day of the January because we do not know it will be Monday, Tuesday, so on. So we will put here weekday. We will use the function weekday. The serial number is this first one and the format will be the second one because we will start with Monday, we will have seven days in the week and we will end with Sunday. So we choose it and it is okay. Let me check. The 1st of January should be the sixth day. It is Saturday. Let me check if it is okay. And the first day is Saturday. Let's go and select another my, for example, in, uh, another month, for example, May. And the first day of uh, the May will be day seven. It is Sunday. Let me check. It is Sunday. So everything works. Let me go back to January. 
would like to find the first day of the week. If the first day of the January is Saturday, which day will be the first day of the week? So here we will put first day of the week. And to do it, we will uh, formula the first day minus the weekday. We have here the 26th of December, but what happened? If we will go here to the Saturday, which should be the 1st of January, and count back six days, will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And we lose the months for one cell. So here, we would like to add the number one. Right? And here we and we receive the 27th of December. We go back and count 27th of December, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 1st of January. Everything works. Let me check the months and put February. And we have the first day of the week will be 31 of January. And the second day of the week will be 1st of February. And let me check if it is right. And yes, it is right. The 31 of January and 1st of February. Let me go back to January. And now what we need to do is to replace these cells with the functions we have in these cells. Let's do it. Let's go to N5, select all functions, copy it, go back to our related formula and replace N5 with a function and then we will go to m5 and do the same copy the formula we have there and go to our formula and replace m5 with the related function and here we have m5 as well and replace is two and let me check we have selected this it is okay but we have selected l5 and we would like to replace this one as well with the function because we will remove all this data placed in this part and we will keep only the weekly calendar so to do it we go back to l5 copy the function we have into it and replace all l5 we have here with the function and now we have here our big formula we copy it go to our first day of the week and select it will be the start number we will start with the first day of the week which is this one so this one we will replace with our big function so we select all Control a right click format cells go to custom remove general and put day day and by this way we have our day we put it on on the middle and now what we have let me see and it is change and here first of all we we can remove all these and remove this as well and nothing will be deleted from here everything is changed we can change the year as well and put for example this one so let me go back to our year and to january and now we will remove all days from the monthly calendar which not correspond to the current month in this case december from here and uh, february from here to do it we will choose the first day of the month select all Control a go to conditional formatting new rule select user formula click on equal then months and say if the months of this day in this case we will remove the locking because we will put it flexible because we will go through each day of the month and we say if this month placed in this cell is not equal to the month placed in the middle for example this one and here we will lock it because we all always will reference to this cell in this case 
we will format it go to custom remove general and put semicolon 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 and click ok and then ok and it is removed let me check and put any other months and everything is working let me go back to january and let me add an additional format here we will go to the first day of the month select ctrl a go to conditional format manage rules open the existing one copy it and add a new rule here use a formula copy this one we have and instead of non-equal we will put equal and we we'll say if it is equal in this case we will format it and put fill and let's say light gray color and okay and okay okay in this case we see the months by this way we can select it and and let's say and also we can and let's see how it is working let's change to february to august to december let me change the year another one let me go back to our year and choose january so everything is working thank you for watching